Give trust in that the world is an awesome place. See me, I'm different. We are, we're different. Look beyond and see the person. Time has come to stand together. So every day was a hunting day. Every day for the We are three strong women here standing on Chalk Hill in Quinana and this is our home. This is Irma Balwawik and Delia Gordon. Myself is Teresa Wally and this is our home and we love it too. very much. I will stand here beside you, hold your hand forever, keep trusting that the world is an awesome place. In October 1951, the attention of British Petroleum's experts was drawn to an area some 17 miles south of the inner harbour of Fremantle in Western Australia. Here, Commonwealth oil refineries and the Western Australian Government pointed to the merits of Coburn Sound as a harbour and of Quinana as a refinery site. The area took its name from the freighter Quinana wrecked on the foreshore in 1912. The refinery site consisted of 950 acres of low-lying scrubland immediately adjacent to the foreshore where the oil port was to be built. The load-bearing properties of the soil were excellent. Well, I first encounter friendship with white people was when I came to Medina area. They sort of built out a brain to me and gave me a home. I was able to send my kids to school. My children was able to come home to me after school and not into some mission where I was. So to me, Medina is a sacred place for me. This is where I had my children. This is where I've lived my life. And I think Quinana is a sacred place for me. And I often tell my kids, I'm not leaving here. <laughs> this is where I'm going to end. <laughs> Family is to me everything, you know. And we always had a good family life. And I have four children, and brought them up in Guinan, and they all all right, and they I have children, I have ten grandchildren and two great grandchildren. And to now they all all right. And they grew up all in Guinana. See? That's what it is. Yeah? And I like family life, where we like family life. We always fear each other. I be for them and they for me. That's what it is. 
My father was a role model for how I live my life in Queen Anna. He always advised to reach out to other people, meet other people, learn, learn from each other's culture and traditions, and do something good to the community. Help your community, because that's what he was doing when I know of my father in the community where I come from. For me, it's different. My ancestors have always lived off this land. This area was Medjugorje's. Medjugorje was the owner of the south of the Swan River, Derbal Jarrigan, and his son was Jagan. So I reckon Jagan would roam around this, the bush here, Quinana, Rockingham, up in the Gosnell Hills, as a young man. The camping grounds would be on the hill like Chalk Hill, along the ridges, because the, the lakes would be the hunting grounds where the men would go early in the morning. So food source was very important. They always left some for the next season. That's the reason why they gathered, went from camp to camp. And every culture is different, you know. Here's your coffee. Yep, I come from the Philippines in a small in a small farming village. My parents own this little farm, which is only a self-sufficient farming, which we grow lots of um, corn and potatoes and any other crops and fruit trees in there. We grew up there with my um, seven brothers. I work hard in the farm to help my parents. Um, it was really hard work manual labor in the farm. And the community is also um, uh, uh, landowners where they also have to cultivate their own farms. And um, each one in the village are relying on each other for help to give them a hand or for whatever they need, they needs to, to get the farm going. I grew up in Vienna and they had a nest growing up in Vienna. We had a lovely place to live. It is an old city with old parks. It was beautiful to go up there. And then I was 15, and then Hitler came. And when I went to school, it was my last year in school, we always had to say a prayer in Vienna. And now Hitler came, and we had to first thing was to scream, Heil Hitler, before the school started. A lot of people said to me, why, why did people say Heil Hitler, why, why? Well, you had to. You was afraid for your own life. That was it was. Mm -hmm.